presiding officer, I'd like to start by thanking Katie Clark for securing tonight's important debate on the subject of fire service cuts. Like many others in the chamber, I'm compelled to speak tonight out of alarm over reports that the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service has ordered the temporary withdrawal of fire appliances at 10 stations across Scotland. One of these appliances is set to be removed from Kingsway East Fire Station in Dundee in my region. And although these changes are reportedly temporary, firefighters and their trade union, the FBU, know all too well how easily temporary solutions become permanent. So like them, I'm extremely concerned by these proposals. I fear the impact they will have on my constituents and the significant risk to both firefighters and the public that these changes will cause. Presiding officer, I also fear the impact that a reduction in appliances will have on staff numbers, staff whose essential skills and expertise could then be lost from the service forever. We know recruitment and retention are already an issue within the fire service, which has lost 1,100 firefighters in the last 10 years. And according to the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service's own financial projections, a further 780 job losses are still to come. Fewer firefighters mean longer response times and greater risk to both the public and firefighters responding to emergency incidents. And in the event of any major incident in Dundee, there is very real concern that there simply isn't the cover needed to keep our firefighters safe and protect the public. So it's simply not good enough to refer to appliances elsewhere because mobilizing appliances from other stations has an impact on the service's ability to respond quickly and it could leave those other areas vulnerable. So we simply cannot allow further cuts in this emergency service to be taken. It is imperative that the Scottish Government provide immediate and sustained investment in the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service to enable it to retain all 10 appliances and maintain the personnel required to staff them. But when I wrote to the Minister for Victims and Community Safety to urge her to act, she was unwilling to meaningfully engage, stating that, quote, operational decisions on the number and location of appliances are entirely a matter for the SF, SFRS board and chief officer, end quote. But these operational decisions don't take place in a vacuum, Minister. They take place within the context of budgets, and it is her government that sets the fire services budget. Presiding officer, this summer, the SFRS published their organisational statistics for 2022 to 23. These statistics show several concerning trends which further highlight the impact of shrinking budgets and firefighter numbers. And that report doesn't even include the further cuts which have taken place over the course of the summer. So let's be clear. The problems facing the fire service are the result of chronic underfunding over a sustained period. The service has been operating with a massive double-digit cut in real terms in its budget over the last 10 years, which is why it's in the position it is now. The Scottish Fire and Rescue Service is an emergency service. It requires urgent investment from the Scottish Government, not cuts. So I stand with firefighters, I stand with the Fire Brigades Union, and I stand with the public, and we are saying stop the cuts.